uh, a question on limiting factor analysis. The question of, that you are seeing says, X Limited manufactures three products. So the products are A, B, and C. The selling prices have been given as $25, $20, and $15. Material cost for A is seven, uh, for B is six, and for C is five. Labor cost per product for A is nine, for B is six, and for C is three. Variable overheads has been given as three per product. The total variable cost is 1915 and 11 respectively. Now, when you look at, when you subtract 19 from 25, 19 all the way from this, then you get your contribution. Okay. Now, let's look at something. When you look at the labor costs, you realize that in bracket they say at 75 cents per hour. So this tells us that employees who work on these three products are paid on a time rate. So time rate times hours worked. Should be should be cost your total pay. Now, when you look at this question, you will see that the person who worked on A was paid nine dollars. Okay, and the rate per hour is seventy five cents. So if we put nine dollars here, and the rate per hour is 75 cents, which is 0 0.75. Then how many hours did the person work? So when we divide 9 by 0.75, we are going to get the hours worked. So for A, it's going to be 9 divided by 0 0.75. Okay. And that is going to give us 12 hours. 12 hours. Okay, can we do that for B? For B is going to 6 divided by 0 0.75. 6 divided by 0 0.75. And that is going to give us 8 hours. 8 hours here. Let me write it well. So, 8 hours. What about C? What about C? 3 divided by 0 0.75, giving us 4 hours. So in this question, you see that on A, on average, you spend 12 hours, and B, 8 hours, and C, 4 hours. Now let's continue the question. Sales demand for the period is limited as follows. 4,000 for A, 6,000 for B, 6,000 for C. The supply of labor is limited to 1,000, 9,000 hours per period. Okay. Now, this question has been so clear about how many hours uh, the company is constrained. That's the limiting factor. And so, we do not need to go and find the limiting factor again. It has been stated in the question. When you want to verify that indeed that was limited, of which we don't want to do, but we want to do it. So here, we look at hours needed produce three products. So for this example, the hours for A, we realize that for, let's say, let me write it to us. Okay, so here, for 
for product A, A, the hours that is needed is that for each product we spend 12 hours. And how many, how many units do we want to produce in order to sell? 4,000. So we have 4,000 units multiplied by 12 hours. Let's go to product B. B. Product B will use uh, 6,000 units multiplied by 8 hours. Then product C, C is going to be 6,000 units multiplied by 4 hours. Now, let's look at the total hours. Now, we we'll know that when we multiply 4,000 4, by 12, we are going to get 48,000. 48,000 hours. 6,000 times 8 will give us 48,000 hours. Then 6,000 times 4 is going to give us 24,000 hours. So now, the total hours, total hours is 48,000, 48,000 plus 48,000 plus 24,000, giving us 120,000. But how many hours are available? Available hours. And the question says that only 90,000, only 90,000 hours is available. Therefore, we have a shortage of 3 or 30,000 hours so we don't need to do this computation but i want you to verify and see that indeed there's shortage of labor hours okay now let's go the question is saying that determine the production schedule production plan so how do we determine the production plan we need to first we need to identify the constraint or the limiting factor. And the limiting factor has been identified as labor hours. The limiting factor has, has been identified as uh, labor hours, which, which is here. Therefore, we can proceed to, to identify or to produce the production budget. So let me clean this place for us to use it. Okay, great. Now, it says production shuttle, uh, X limited production shuttle. Underline it, Lee. Okay. Now, I have already stated that if you want to, I stated earlier in our previous lesson that if you want to solve limiting factor analysis, the key point for for you to identify. The key point that you need to identify is that you need to maximize the contribution per unit of limited resource. Okay, so we need to find the contribution 
in the question we have a b and c in the question we have been given the contribution so contribution per unit has been given as six dollars five dollars and four dollars okay now what is the limiting factor the limiting factor here in the question is labor how many hours is used so we have done already done the contribution 12 hours eight hours and four hours now let's look at the contribution per unit of limited resource so here we are going to divide six by 12 which is 0 0.5 then we divide five by eight five by eight So five divided by eight, which is zero point six two five. Then four by four hours will give you one. Now the next thing you need to do is do your rankings. So the rankings will help you identify which product should should be produced first and which one should be produced second and in that sequence. So you realize that one is bigger than 0 0.625 and 0 0.625 is bigger than 0 0.5. Okay, so this one should be the first, this one should be the second, and this one should be the third. Okay, what this means is that we will be producing C first, followed by B and A. So let's look at the production schedule. So we'll look at product. Okay. Hours needed. Hours left. This is basically the three main things that you need. So we are going to produce C first. So C, in the question, C needs 6,000 units. So 6,000 units. Now, how many hours do we need for C, which is four hours, giving us 24,000 hours? Now, how many hours left? In the question, you say we have 90,000 hours left. So we are going to start with 90,000 hours minus 24,000 hours, giving us 90,000, 90 minus 24, giving us 66,000 hours. Okay, then we go to B, which is the second to produce. For B, we have to produce 6,000 hours. So 6,000 6, units, rather, 6,000 units. Multiply, how many hours is needed? Eight hours. So eight hours. Eight hours. Now, six, eight is 48. So, okay, so six times eight is 48,000. So we have 48,000 hours. Now, how many hours are left? Remember, when we finish producing CDS, 66,000 hours is left. Minus the 48,000 hours. Now, this should give us 66 minus 48. 18,000 hours. Okay. Now, the 18,000 hours is what we are going to use to produce A because that is the only hours left. Okay. Now, in the earlier 
computation, you will realize that if you want to produce A, you have to use 4,000 times uh, 12, which is 48,000 hours. That is how what we need to produce A. However, what is available here is only 18,000. So what do we do? So we have to produce units that will be equivalent to 18,000 hours. Okay, and that unit should be, so how do you find those units? You realize that we multiply, in this example, we multiply 6,000 by 8 hours to get this. Now, we have 18,000 hours here, and we know that the hours per product is 12 hours. So we divide 18,000 by 12. So 18,000 divided by 12 will give us 1,500 units. So this is basically telling us that, so this is basically telling us that, uh, we have to produce, produce, 6,000 units of A, 6,000 units of, oh, sorry, 6,000 units of C, 6,000 units of B, and 1,500 units of A. So that is the production schedule. If you like this video, kindly subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that whenever there is any upload you can have access to it and share with your friends